Have you ever wondered what is financial wellness? Typically, we refer that to spiritual wellness, emotional wellness. Financial wellness is a state of being where you can meet all your current financial obligations, you're on track to meet all of your future financial obligations, and you're able to live the life of your choosing in the future. Now, many people in the world today experience certain elements of financial wellness, but it's very challenging and very few people find the balance between all three of those. So it's not just how much you earn and your ability to pay your current bills. It's also, can you pay your future obligations? Is there a level of stability and consistency in your life that allows you to feel confident in your future. Maybe they experience the first two, the current and the future uh, needs being met financially, but the last one is where it gets tricky, which is being able to enjoy your life on your terms. That is the one that is so, so challenging for people to get. I want to talk a little bit about what is financial wellness and what is it not? And stay to the end because really I would say each and every one of these tips matter and they definitely matter at varying levels depending on where you're at in your career and your life cycle. So what does financial wellness look like and taking control of your money? Well first Having control of your day-to-day -day finances is number one. Do you know what's going on in your financial life? Are you on the same page with your partner? And do you have control over things like paying your bills on time, your balances, your monthly payments, and all of your obligations? Number two, having enough cushion to be able to manage emergencies. So this would be where the emergency fund comes in. Now, the emergency fund or rainy day fund is really going to be a peace of mind thing. So by having that, you're really going to create an emotional peace that you would not have otherwise without it because you know that if there's an emergency, you're going to be able to handle it. Number three, having enough cash and being out of debt to where you can use your income to support your lifestyle. So essentially not having to rely on credit to be able to fund your lifestyle and staying on track to meet your future obligations and retire down the line with peace of mind. Financial wellness is all encompassing. It's, it's current, future, and your sort of desires in this lifetime. And you can see in these items that each and every one of them has to mesh together to equal financial wellness. Despite what culture would tell you about financial wellness, there are several things that it is not. I would say first off, financial wellness is not living paycheck to paycheck. Now, there's an incredible amount of stress that comes with going paycheck to paycheck, and that is definitely the opposite of financial wellness because it robs your peace of mind, not knowing where your next meal is going to come from, or even not knowing if you're going to be able to pay your bills the next month and i have been there when i started my first company there was a period of time to where even though i had earned over a million dollars throughout my career i essentially i was in a point to where the business and my personal debt was so high it was around half a million dollars i had to hit around ten thousand dollars in income every single month just to be able to pay my bills. And as soon as we hit a downturn uh, with the pandemic, it really, really, really squeezed. And I would say panicked me and really shifted me into becoming more of a financial minimalist. And really is part of the struggle that makes me want to help other people to sort of avoid that situation because it's not fun to be there and you know I can speak about that personally and I'm sure many of you can speak to it maybe you're there or maybe you're on your way there or maybe not but living the paycheck to paycheck is definitely uh, it robs your peace of mind making high risk investments in things like penny stocks or crypto get rich quick schemes they Maybe they sound kind of sexy from the outside, but the, the truth is 
your body sort of knows that this is a risky play and it's going to pay you back with stress hormones and this is just not the way to go uh, for financial wellness again it's not good for your peace of mind and uh, almost never do any of those sort of get rich quick schemes ever play out in real life swiping credit cards to rack up debt if you're swiping credit cards to fund your lifestyle then you are overspending we live in a time where people are so focused on leisure the the truth of the matter is is you know I, i've been there i've been chasing sort of happiness if you will and i've done a lot of things i've i've been fortunate enough to be able to travel all over uh, for work i've been fortunate enough to get to do a road trip across the country and go skiing for an entire winter so I've been very fortunate and I don't say those things to brag, but the reason why I do tell you those things is there's really not any amount of chasing that is going to provide you fulfillment. Now, sure, it will provide you with experiences, but fulfillment does not come from leisure. Fulfillment comes from the struggle, from the day to day grind, from being appreciative of the things that you have, not wanting something else. It is really a mindset of appreciation and then the other element is purpose you know having purpose in your life is significantly a higher target than just leisure you know leisure leads to typically to unfulfillment and unmet expectations uh, because we as humans just tend to build things up in our brain you know more so than real life could ever uh, match so definitely I would say Swiping credit cards is a bad deal, especially if you're chasing happiness. Uh, you know, again, start with a mindset of appreciation and live within your means. That is number one uh, front and center for financial wellness. Just because you see somebody who has a nice car, a nice house, traveling all over, does not mean that those individuals are not broke. Guys, I've seen it as a banker. I can promise you looks are very deceiving especially when it comes to financial things they are extremely deceiving uh, and typically these individuals that you see you know that are driving the fancy cars big house lots of vacations my experience as a banker and working one-on-one -on -one behind the scenes with these individuals tells me that many of them are bankrolling this lifestyle via debt and I can tell you from having crashed personally, gravity always brings us back to the ground. And uh, that is definitely not any place to be. You can tell I'm speaking very personally about that because I've been there and I just, I don't want that for you. Lastly, using earned income to access high interest rate, bad loans. So things like payday loans are a prime example or cash advances on credit cards. We did a video a couple weeks ago of a young man that pulled out a cash advance and turned around and dumped all of the cash into crypto. So he made a bad financial move by using a cash advance in the first place. And then he doubled down on dumb and he dumped that into a high risk investment. So again, debt is not going to make you rich. A good credit score is not going to make you rich. These things are just not, they're not indicators of wealth they're typically not indicators of financial wellness. It can help to live a more comfortable lifestyle, uh, but it is not going to build wealth. Financial wellness, as we think about it, is really the pinnacle of financial well-being. And I wish that for you. I want to know what are you doing to improve your financial wellness. Guys, thank you so much for joining along with me today. I am here to help you win with money if you like this video go ahead smash that like button also consider subscribing if you want more weekly content on how to win with money and i look forward to seeing you on the next one